look, here's the proof. The proof is in the, the streets, basically. Catching a few fish in the park. Everything's just done quicker. The, the track and trace was put out quicker, testing quicker, the lockdown was quicker. And so now people can just sit in the park and enjoy the sunshine. Over here, people were fighting to put on masks. The US, they're fighting not to wear masks. It's one thing to have a government to enforce these things, but it's another for the people to actually follow it and do it. Oh, my, arm, my arm looks massive. All natural, baby. All natural, 100% burgers. So, it's uh, inside a uh, Chinese gym here. Well, obviously, I'm in China. Currently, a lot of countries around the world are closing gyms, unfortunately. So we're gonna go into some reasons. Why is that? And what's going on in China? Welcome back to another video. So, as you just saw, I was in the gym. Man, hold on, it's a little bit uh, bright. As you just saw, I was in the gym. Now, why is that? Why is it that most businesses in China are back to normal and running uh, as normal? Well, we're going to go through a few points why there was no uh, second wave in China. Like, unfortunately, uh, there is in a lot of other countries around the world at the moment, the US and in Europe, they're going through the second lockdown. Uh, so we're going to go through a few points as to why China never had a second wave or a second lockdown. So firstly, I just want to say, the Chinese government, they are at an advantage when it comes to controlling their country uh, compared to a lot of uh, democratic countries, you know. The Chinese government, the CCP, they have complete and total... Hello? Hello? <laughs> they have complete and uh, total control over their country, you know. It's a lot easier to govern people when you're in complete control. So that's one of the first points. For example, when this whole thing started and the Chinese government realized that this is the real deal, within a matter of days, literally days, the entire country was locked down. And I'm not talking some little crappy lockdown. It was a proper lockdown, um, which rolled out across all of the provinces in China. Uh, for example, like in the US and you have all the different states, each state is governed independently and they, you know, they do what they want. But in China, each province is ruled completely by the government and they all act together as one. Um, so that's, that's one of the advantages. The whole country acts together, works together. And the entire country within days was completely locked down, a proper lockdown. Second point, Chinese um, culture, well, Asian culture in general, they're used to wearing masks when, you, when you're sick, uh, like in Japan, China, Singapore, Thailand, whatever, right? They have this kind of mask culture. When you are sick, you put on a mask uh, to to uh, stop the stop your infection or whatever you have from uh, spreading to other people you know it's just generally that's just generally what they do and they've done that for decades but in the west this whole kind of mat wearing a mask thing is relatively new and it's kind of um, stigmatized you know it's not it's not normal to wear a mask in the west so when this all started again and the government was like, wear a mask. Everyone in China was literally going crazy, trying to get masks and masks sold out. People were fighting to wear a mask, to put it on. But in the US or in the, in, in the West, in America, in the UK, people are fighting not to put it on. I mean, it's just insane that when you compare the two, because I've been, I was in China from the, from the very start of it. Uh, I came in, in, uh, I landed in China on January 2nd, 
2020 and I've been here ever since. So I saw it from start to finish, the whole shebang, right? And so it's just crazy. Over here, people were fighting to put on masks. The US, they're fighting not to wear masks. But now I, do, I think uh, in America, people are starting to realize you need to wear a mask. I mean, just put on a mask. I don't care what's the big deal. Anyway, right, so anyway. That was the second point. Third point, this is kind of similar to the second point about fighting against your own government. Chi Asian people and culture, Chinese culture, they're all, it's a lot more, um, I guess you do what you're told, you go with the flow, kind of. And when, you, when your government says something, people do it. The people of China are much more willing to go along with what their government say, you know. Uh, just go with the flow. Don't fight a government that's trying to help you, that's trying to protect you. And at the end of the day, these are the results of Chinese people following what their government told them to do. Told them to lock down, stay inside, wear a mask. And everyone did it for a solid, I'm talking a solid, I think it was about, we did about three months lockdown, solid not even going outside and many people in the bigger cities they had food delivered to their doors that, so they didn't have to go outside it was a proper lockdown and so these are the results of a proper lockdown as you can see today everything is back to normal there's not one single person here wearing a mask um, so the third point is kind of um, it's, it's easier to for the Chinese government you know, to work with its people because people do what they're told and they follow the rules, you know. They follow the rules. I guess that's the third third point. People here follow the rules. So the fourth point is within a matter of days, the Chinese government introduced a track and trace system. We're talking, we're talking like, I think it was about four or five days. The system was up running and every single person in china was using it because what they did they, they they implemented the track and trace system on an already existing apps on everyone's phone uh which was wechat weixing so they put the track and trace on your wechat uh which is kind of like whatsapp in the west and it was up and running insanely fast everyone's using it it's not just like oh some people are using it or whatever. Every single person was using this track and trace system in China. And so then businesses, um, they would enforce that. If you want to come into, for example, if you want to come into a restaurant, uh, you'd have to show your phone and it would come up with a little, uh, there's like a color code system. If it's green, uh, you can come in. If it's red, uh, you can't come in. And that was based on, uh, I think it was based on G like your GPS. If you'd been around some uh, high risk area, then your phone would show red. If you haven't been around a high risk area, then it would show green. And so they implemented this system uh, really quickly uh, and it was up and running within days. And so, for example, you couldn't get on, you couldn't get on a bus. You'd have to show your phone, show the, uh, the green, green sign, you know, they can get on. They did it for restaurants, shopping malls, hospitals. You know, it was just everywhere, track and trace. Um, so that's the fourth point as to why, the, why, why we're, it's like this today. Why I can walk out and it's just lovely and a lovely sunny day. And people are just enjoying the sun, the track and trace system. Because I mean, in the UK, they, they, they tried to do a track and trace system. It took about five months first to create this track and trace and then and then they, 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 they released it and no one's no one was even using it it's like what's the point um, so that was the fourth point the fifth point so I would say the fifth point as to why there's no more there's no second wave oh, almost bumped into me the fifth point as to why there's no more second wave uh, in China. Oh, there's two guys with suits on there. Suit and a polo, a polo a turtleneck. <laughs> um, I mean, look at this. Say what you want. Say what you want. 
say that I'm, I've been paid to make this video, but, but have I though? Have I though? Look, here's the proof. The proof is in the, the streets, basically. You don't have to, you don't have to take my word for it. Just take a look at, take a look at this, right? Everything is running as normal. I mean, they've even got a damn Burger King opening soon. Not only is it running normal, it's running better than normal, <laughs> right? So that brings me on to my fifth point. Um, let me just flip you around so you can see this uh, part. That brings me on to my fifth point. Hold on, am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. My fifth point is the speed at which China, or I mean, you no, know, the individual provinces and hospitals and testing centers can test people huge amounts of people and get results much quicker than other countries um, i don't know all the details of this uh, but uh, for example in Qingdao, the uh, i think it was about two weeks ago they had a little uh, spike in uh, infections and within days once again a couple of days they locked down the entire country and they tested, I think it was 10 million people. 10 million people tested within five days. Think about that for a second. 10 million people tested within five days. And it's not just fake, fake news propaganda. It actually happened. I've heard from people on the ground in Qingdao. They tested something like 10 million within five days. So that's the fifth point, the speed at which um, the Chinese government can get these tests done and get the results back and get people moving on and get things going. Basically, it's just overall, I think it's the speed. Everything's just done quicker. The, the track and trace was put out quicker, testing quicker. The lockdown was quicker and it was a proper lockdown, proper. And, and rules are just put in place and people follow it i mean it's 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 one thing to have a government to enforce these things but it's another for the people to actually follow it and do it so i think that's one of the biggest reasons why you're seeing i mean it's a lot of other asian countries as well doing have done really well when it comes to you know the old uh, the old cv the old rona um i mean compared to the compared to the west which like the uk and many countries in Europe now, unfortunately, are going uh, going into their second lockdown. Um, whereas China never had one. So, you know, I don't, I, I don't want the world to be suffering from this. I want the world to go back to normal so everyone can start traveling again. Um, but that was just my thoughts, my experience as a foreigner being here in China from the very start of it in January. I literally flew into China from England on the day that it all started. <laughs> Best decision I ever made. It was all smoothly, smoothly handled, run well, you know. And I'm still here today, never left, never left. And so now people can just sit in the park and enjoy the sunshine. So anyway, so if you're in a country and you're in your going into your second lockdown or your gym's just been closed, you can't make any more gains, then just, you know, just stick with it. Be strong. It's going to be over soon. I'm sure it's going to be over soon. Uh, there's news that there's a vaccine. There's some news that there's a vaccine out. Um, so, I mean, hopefully, that is, uh, hopefully it works. And I hope that your country gets through this. And just stay strong. All right, so uh, that was just my thoughts on uh, my five, I guess that was five points, was it? As to why China looks like this. Oh, hold on, there's music over there. All right, let's head this way. I don't want to get caught with that music. So that was just my five points as to why it's like this in China now. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. I'm signing off. Let's go look down here. Now I'm signing off. There's a guy, that, I mean, just look at this. I mean, you can believe there's five points if you want, or you can just look at this video. This is why 
I mean, there's guys enjoying just fishing, catching a few fish in the park. You can take my word for it, or you can just believe this video, video evidence for you. Um, all right, so I'm signing off, signing off. Um, oh, you've had to look at that label this entire video. God damn it. Um, all right, I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, if you want to help me out on this video, press like. If you're new to the channel, press subscribe. And uh, tell me what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off.